Hello everyone. This here is a Vanda. And as you can see, it is uh, very long, has lots of roots, and that's what attracts me to this particular um, species of orchids, is their root system. And it's they're very, very large, they get very long, and they also attach themselves to the trees. There's frogs over here, so I'm a little scared to walk in. See how it's attached to the trees? It actually grows to the tree. Uh, and this is one of my Vandas. And then over here, if you see on the, the uh, bamboo, the, that root system is actually f uh, to a Phileonopsis. And that's the Phileonopsis right there that is just attached to the, um, the bamboo. And here I have another one. It's a Phileonopsis. This is the most common orchid that you can get. And I just have them attached to the tree. Here's another one of my Vandas. And you can see that it attaches itself to the tree because it's an air plant. They love water. Some beautiful blooms. This, this right here I can cut off but it doesn't really matter. So these love a lot of water and I hardly ever fertilize my orchids. Um, I hear mixed reviews about them, so it's not something that I necessarily do. So I'm gonna go out to my backyard. Okay, we're out here in my backyard. And here's a couple of my orchids that are in bloom out here. This one right here is a hybrid Vanda. And as you can see, it has one, two, three little pups in it. And it has some beautiful flowers coming out, but see the long root system that's literally attached to my shed. Here we have a Phileonopsis. This is a common one with beautiful flowers coming off of it right now. But as you can see, you see the root system? See how gray it is? This really needs water really bad, but I was trying to hold off on watering these because we've been getting so much water, um, so much rain around here. This plant right here is called a why not, and it's the most complete, uh, complete orchid system. I don't know why, it's just what it says when I look it up. And in here, these little red things, that's some type of charcoal that it's potted in. Up here, we have a Catalea, some type of Catalea. I'm not 100% which one it is. I actually got this orchid as a little teeny tiny starter from Home Depot in one of the bags. But it has a beautiful plant, a beautiful flower. So that's the Catalea. This one down here, is I don't know what this one is but this one I'm, I actually rescued from my sister and my brother-in-law they actually gave this to me and since I've gotten it it's um, definitely come around I still have some um, trimming up to do with it to make it more alive um, but it gives me a beautiful flower and then over here we have, uh, this is called a, a little star. And this plant here, I also got from Home Depot in a little bag and it was teeny tiny. I have one out front too. Um, but this um, puts off these beautiful white flowers that smell so amazing, amazing. I love this, this particular um, orchid and it only smells at night. Here's another Vanda. This is an older Vanda, and, and it's just, you see the roots back there? It just grows all over. And then this is called my Dancing Lady. This one only blooms once a year, but when it does, it lasts for a couple months. This is my dancing lady. And this one, whoo, there's a lizard. Ah, you would think that um, I would be used to these little critters with, with how much I love uh, the outdoors. 
and love my plants, but I'm not. But that's called a dancing lady. So my outdoor orchids, I generally water them once a day, sometimes twice a day in the heat of the summer. I water them first thing in the morning. Um, and I generally just water them until their, their uh, roots turn green. That's what my brother told me to do. Um, this one here is a beautiful orchid too. This one puts out a really pretty purple flower. You'll see it on my Facebook page as well. Um, but it looks like I need to get some water to some of these orchids. But anyway, this is some of them. I have one more orchid box that I'll be going to. Let me see what's going on over there. Hold on one second. Okay, in here we have two cataleas. I have this one down here that's attaching itself nicely to the wood. As you can see, I have another one up here. No, I'm not quite sure what that one is. Uh, one of my friend's brothers gave that to me. Uh, here we have another Vanda. It's a baby Vanda. I'm not quite sure what this one is. It's bloomed on me twice. This here is a Dendrobrium that died when I was in the hospital. Um, but as you can see, it's coming back. So I've been nurturing it and hopefully it'll give me um, some beautiful shoots. This is Philianopsis. And here we have a Encyclia for Grands. Gives me these really pretty white and purple flowers, little teeny tiny flowers. And that's it. Those are my orchids.